today, again, we're talking about the mission. And how are you utilizing your assets for the mission here at Christ City? You and your gifts are a treasure to Christ. The church needs and wants you to bring all of your assets into the storehouse. What's the storehouse? Anybody know? Mm -hmm. A storehouse is a building used for storing goods and your assets are a gift from are a gift that God has given you to use towards the mission of this church, your neighborhood, your workplace, wherever you go. Use your gifts for the glory of God. We can share the good news of life in Christ by our actions. We can do mission in different ways through prayer and action. We can't always do the tangible things, which I'm learning myself because I always want to go, go, go. But sometimes you need to just sit down and pray and let the Holy Spirit lead you. Oh, and sometimes we need to fast, too. I had to do that, too. <laughs> Our faith is not only meant to be between us and God. It is meant to be lived out in both church and the broader communities we live in. Okay. And this is my last story, and it's my favorite story of Christ City <laughs> on a mission, internal and external, using all the assets and the people. Ready? All right. On August 20th, 2021, during the pandemic, a member of Christ City reached out for a friend asking for transportation for a refugee family flying into a local airport. Fridays are normally our days off, and y'all, I was at the beach hanging out. <laughs> Got this messenger to my Facebook uh, inbox, and I was like, oh, well, maybe we can help. I was um, in North Carolina with the Bell family when the ask was made, and I was like, Sarah, what do you think? She said, I think this is, this is right. We, uh, <laughs> we decided to put the call all out and ask people in our community to help, and this response was overwhelming, in a good way. My phone and my email blew up with people wanting to help and letting me know that they were praying. We knew the family was going to a particular part of Virginia, and I texted the entire Northern Virginia small group asking them to be on standby. They mobilized very quickly. <laughs> they had warm fruit, groceries, doctors at this, at this Airbnb to check on this family, not to mention that one of the um, women there were 40, was 40 weeks pregnant and flying. I'm like, okay. So they went over, not knowing what they were going to walk into, and then we found the air, out the Airbnb stay was coming to an end. They didn't have anything else lined up for this family. So our staff met on a Sunday. With prayer and in agreement, we decided that we would intervene and help with housing and groceries for this family. <laughs> Soon after, someone reached out to us and let, let us know they had a vacant house and they were praying that they could help refugees resettle. He said, "Where well, there's one thing, it's not furnished. And our members were like, hold my beer. We about to, we about to get this house furnished? <laughs> We about to get these people comfortable. We about to have a baby. Like, let's go. And we did. <laughs> people, <laughs> dude, I knew I could trust in this community to pull their assets together for the missional purposes of the nations coming here. Shout out to Lisa. And not just loving people, not just loving the nations over there. So. We got to work. Christ City staffing and a couple of elders were up late planning and organizing. And with the help of so many people, we got it done. I took a step back and I realized this was an answer to prayer. People ran errands, picked up car seats, sent money, drove, overfilled pickup trucks from northwest to southwest while literally praying that things would not fall off. People vacuumed, swiffered, washed dishes, put beds together. Shout out to CJ. <laughs> used an off day, wiped window seals, made beds, picked up donations, cut the grass, hosted a family for hours when you're an introvert. Thank you, Watson. You called someone even when you wanted to text. You brought friends to help. You greeted a refugee family. Teen City, shout out. You welcomed people into your home. We went on grocery runs, and I got to see the work of the missional community. Serving God together as a body, operating in the gifts that God has given us individually and as a community. This, friends, 
is mission work. This is God's work. This is Christ City's work through mission.